What up, you two? See, we got the uh, 2022 uh, Street Glide ST sitting right here. And what I got is a, uh, got a few boxes with a few products. So we're gonna see what we got going on in these boxes. So hopefully this comes through. <clears throat> so in one of the videos I was talking about the, um, these lights here. Um, these lights here, they were supposed to have been replaced by the dealer. So since these actually have, um, at least on uh, the ones that was on my bike, uh, they had glue. You know, you take this out and then you make a little hole and that stuff and you poke this guy out. And then it has uh, backing tape behind it when you put it in. So that makes it pretty hard to replace that. Um, the same thing with the low profile bag lights, which is supposed to be here in the back. So that was also supposed to be um, replaced by uh, the dealer. So since they had glue on them, um, we just made an agreement um, that they would kind of give me back the money um, that I spent on those items. And you have to excuse me, because I'm actually just getting over COVID. <coughs> So I'm a little, a little stopped up. Oh, man, we have the ice cream man. So we'll wait for him to pass. I've seen an ice cream truck in forever. So it's kind of funny to see an ice cream truck. But anyway, uh, so we just made an agreement um, and they would just give me back uh, some money uh, for these pieces that had actual tape in them uh, so that I could just go out and buy them and replace them. But they were supposed to go out and get them themselves and um, replace them on the bike when the bike was delivered. But uh, when the bike came, it didn't have any of those pieces. Um, so anyway, so here we are. So the first thing we got here is um, replacement replacement latches now the ones that I had before um, it was just the insert that went in here but they had already ordered uh, this particular one um, that actually comes with the, it comes with the light and the housing together so anyway I guess that makes it easier to replace it so this is from uh, custom dynamics This is from Custom Dynamics. And, um, we also have these, the um, low profile bag lights. So that's gonna go on the back of the, um, the back of the bag. So these are smoked, these are smoked, and you can see the light over there is actually smoked too. So that'll go with that. Oh. Triple play stuff from Custom Dynamics. So this should just plug right into the harness. All this stuff should just be plug and play, pretty much. So, shouldn't, shouldn't really be a problem. And it looks like they gave me more pieces than what I needed because they gave me some of these, uh, some of these uh, plugs too, but that's fine. So I guess when they unplugged everything, they just pulled everything connected to the harness and gave it all to me. Um, <clears throat> this is just a replacement USB-C. That's all that is, is a replacement USB-C that has a uh, cover on it. And the reason why I wanted this guy with a cover on it is because when it rains, I can just put this cover on it instead of always having to replace these because they get caught in the rain. Um, and I use this uh, to power the camera. 
So hopefully this stuff is coming out in the video. Put that over there, that over there, put that over there. Um, another thing that we got in the box. <clears throat> thing we got in the box is a lithium battery so I have the NLP 30 NLP 30 the NOCO um, NLP 30 you can see that So we got this guy. So the reason why I went ahead and got a uh, lithium battery is because I was upgrading the stereo and I've done uh, some of it already where I have the two cicadas up on the top. I have two PRVs in the lower fairings and I have a sound digital uh, 800.4 um, in the fairing and then I have an HK mini uh, DSP so I have a few more um, upgrades to do to the stereo um, where I have a uh, 1200.4 uh, coming um, so that should give these guys real good power then what I also got was the no code genius five um so that's going to be the battery maintainer charger so i got one of these um so i got one of these guys <clears throat> and then i may not have, i may not have needed this but i also got the um I also got the adapter. This adapter here. So you just connect this to the battery and hang it out to the side, the uh, pigtail, because the um, the charger that's going to be that's attached to the Harley now, that's not going to work for this particular lithium battery. So um, I just went out and got these pieces. So, when we open this battery up, you can see the packaging the way that it comes. So it's packaged nicely. And open it like this. Comes with a little Allen key. Comes with a booklet. And send it nice and snug in the box. So that looks pretty good. So the only thing that I can say is it does look a little short. Um, and I thought they said that it came with these little things to put in the bottom to raise it up. But, um, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. So anyway, maybe I have to read the instructions to see am I missing anything? Cause this looks a little short. Well, maybe it's fine. Okay, whatever. Um, <clears throat> so that's good. 
So this is what it looks like. Good looking battery, positive side, negative side. So nothing special there. And then this guy here is the charger and the maintainer. Up. So the package is really nice. Give it that. And uh, of course, inside they have the little booklet with all the other little accessories. Yeah, so then I have this guy that kind of connects on to the end. Um, and technically, I probably don't even need this. I don't think I need this. Because <clears throat> if I look in here, see what we got. So we have the two ends to hold it in. So that's good. So this package nice. Pull this guy out. A little strap if you need it. You already have um, this end on there. <clears throat> and then you have and then you have this. So technically what you could do Oh no, I guess yeah, I guess I do need it. I do need it. So I would take these two, I would take these off, <clears throat> these eyelets, and put these, put these on the battery. So take off the alligator, uh, the alligator clamps, you know, and use your little Allen to take the screw off uh, here to unscrew it. So uh, that's how you take that guy off. Then you attach these to the battery. Then you have, um, this end here. This is this will go plugged into the wall. And well, I don't know. Oh, I guess that goes. Oh, but go in here. So yeah, then I guess maybe technically I don't need it. Because this can go to the battery. This piece <coughs> can be hanging from the bike. And then when I wanna hook it up to the charger, just do like that. So I don't, so I don't, I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily need this piece. I don't necessarily need this piece, unless <clears throat> it is a little short. That's the only thing that I can say. So this would give it a little more Give it a little more length. So, anyway, we'll see. So when I switch out the battery, then I guess we'll see. Any camera over here? Get a little closer. Let's 
so you can see the lights when <clears throat> this should go out when I have unplug it. So you unplug it. When you plug it in, it lights up. So you're good. All right, so I'm gonna unplug this. Um, one of the things they say is to put your battery, connect everything to the battery first before you um, before you plug this guy in. So again, just to see if you can see this, um, you have your 12, your regular 12 volt, volt battery, your 12 volt. Uh, AGM and your 12 volt uh, lithium then you have your 6 volt and then you have the repair mode <clears throat> then you have your um, your um, high voltage if it won't maintain a charge if it's reverse polarity and your uh, power button and in order to move this guy around you just press this button here and in order to get over here you just hold it down for like three to five seconds and it should jump over there. <clears throat> but I just need the 12 volt uh, lithium. So I'm gonna put this guy over here for a second. Grab our battery. Kind of surprising. Kind of surprising how light uh, this battery actually is. So we'll do negative to negative. Positive to positive. Pop that open. Put that in. We have our plug. Our lights cut on, we see our power. And switch it over to lithium and see if it reads. And you see right now, it's on the one red. See it's on the one red, now it's going up to two. So that's 25, that's 50, 75 will be yellow. And then um, when it's green, it'll be 100. And then when it's uh, fully charged, it'll be solid green and then it'll just switch over to uh, blinking, blinking green, being that it's maintaining it. This also has a, a, a built-in temperature um, gauge or whatever you want to call it so it won't overcharge it if it's too hot and it won't undercharge it if it's too cold so uh, this battery looks like it came with a pretty good charge already in it so 
that's basically it. So I'm just gonna leave it here, let it charge up, then I'll leave it on the maintainer. And then when I uh, go and take the bike to get the other uh, work done on it, um, the battery will be fully charged. So, uh, so that's it. So upgrading the stereo basically meant I had to upgrade the battery. Um, so I got this lithium one and uh, supposed to be a decent battery was recommended to me. You know, a lot of people may go and buy the Brails. The Brails are real expensive, like six, seven hundred dollars. And there's a few other lithium brands as well. Um, but you know, I was told this one works pretty well. It's pretty good too. So we'll see what's the story with it. All right, so uh, back to take a look at the Noco uh, Genius 5. So we can see now that it's uh, solid. <clears throat> so when it's solid green, uh, that means the battery is 100% uh, charged. Um, and now it's just maintaining it. If you see it flipping back to, um, to flashing, um, then that's almost like it's topping off the battery again. Um, but really it should just, I guess, sit and um, with this green light on, uh, just saying that it's good. So right now this battery is uh, topped off. It didn't take that long to charge it up. Um, so now I'll just uh, leave it here so it can maintain it until I'm ready to use it. Got a few boxes in the mail. Just wanted to open those up. The first box we got is from good old custom dynamics. Custom Dynamic, the uh, Dynamic LED Vent Insert. So we know that that's gonna go right here in the front. So right now it's that flat, that flat black, but this will now make it gloss black. And it also has uh, two lights. <clears throat> so on the other bike, the 2021, I had the same lights here um, and they were supposed to replace them but since it had tape keeping it in place and really they could have snapped it out because it's held in by tape and a, a snap just like this is this is not held in I don't think it's held in by tape it just has a snap so you just snap it out but this has the snap and it also just has tape as well so they could have taken it off and just snapped it back in but they didn't want to do it so that's fine so um, um, we negotiated that and, um, and you know, we just negotiated a little bit of cash back so that I was able to just go out and buy a new one. So that's good. That's gonna be going on. That's gonna be going on this weekend, hopefully. And then the other box is, from Harley, so this is a uh, oil cooler um, assist fan module. So for the folks, this is model number or part number 6270204. And this just goes down in the front. Should be an easy install. So I'm gonna put that in um, this weekend too. So again, when I was working with the dealer, um, when we were coming up with the, the money and how much they were going to try to give me back and stuff like that, um, I ended up with uh, a gift card with a certain amount of money on it. <clears throat> so from that gift card, I just, I just went out and bought certain things. Uh, in this case, I bought the, uh, the oil cooler. So... This is pretty much what it looks like. So 
what it looks like. And there's the fan. Uh, so once you install this, you do have to get your uh, ready. You do have to get the the bike flashed so that you can activate it. I think this cuts on at 190 degrees or something like that. Um, but this is gonna go on uh, this weekend along with. Um, so this is gonna be a big weekend for uh, installs. So we're gonna do the. The oil cooler, we're going to do that front vent light. Um, I'm also going to do the, um, I'm also going to change out the, the latches so that way we have the latch lights. Uh, I'm also going to do the low profile bag lights. Um, we're going to do part two of the stereo upgrade. Um, Right now, we're running a Sound Digital uh, 800.4 and two six and a half cicadas um, with the horns and two uh, mid range uh, six and a half PRVs. Uh, so, we're going to be installing some six by nines and uh, doing some work on the lids. Um, we're going to install another Sound Digital um, 1200.4 um, up in the front. So I'll do a little before and after on the uh, stereo and how it sounds. And I'm getting that work done at um, Sidewalk Customs with a guy named George. Um, so. I'll post some pictures and stuff of um, of the work that he does. Um, everything I've seen, it, it sounds, you know, everything that I've seen that he's put together has sounded pretty good. At least he consults a lot with uh, Carlos over at NBS. Um, and I was gonna go with, um, with the guy who did my other bike uh, out in California, uh, Big Money Rob. I was going to go with him. Uh, the only problem that I have with that is that um, he's out in California, so if anything goes wrong with the stereo or anything, he's he's just too far away. So um, this guy, he's out in Miami, so that's a, a lot closer. Um, that's a lot closer. So if there's anything, you know, goes wrong with the stereo, I can always just take a quick ride out to Miami. And, um, you know, who doesn't want to go out to Miami? So you take a quick ride out there, have him uh, take, take a look. Uh, he warranties his speakers, he warranties his work. So I, I can't complain at all. Like now, something happened with the Cicada uh, speaker. So right now, there's really three speakers playing. This one is playing, but it's playing real low. Um, but, um, but like I said, he warranties the speaker, so he just said when I bring the bike back for the rest of the work, he'll switch out that speaker, um, and we'll just uh, take it from there. So like I said, I'm gonna get this work done this uh, weekend. Uh, some of the stuff I'm doing, uh, the stereo stuff, um, uh, George is going to do, um, or actually it may just have him do everything. Um, and, and just call it a day. Um, you know, sometimes you have to figure out what's the what's the value of your time. Um, and then you can also see over there. I don't know if you you can see it. I have the uh, the lithium battery um, just being main, maintained. And um, I think that's uh, I think that's it. So uh, like I said, I'll post some videos and stuff when I get. Um, when I have the other work done, and you'll see some before and afters, all right?